big and strong. He goes to work each day and he stays all day long. He comes home each night looking tired and beat. He sits down at the dinner table and has a bite to eat. Never a frown, always a smile. When he says to me, how's my child? I said that I've been studying hard all day in school. Trying very hard to understand the golden rule. I think I'll color this man father. I think I'll color him love. Said I'm gonna color him father. I think I'll color the man love. Yes, I will. He says education is a thing if you want to compete. Because without his son, life ain't very sweet. I love this man and I don't know why Except I'll need his strength until the day that I die My mother loves him and I can tell By the way she looks at him when he holds my little sister Nell I heard her say just the other day That if it hadn't have been for him, she couldn't have found her way I think I'll color him father swept away and I simply come longing just to bring something that's worth that will bless your heart I'll bring you more than a song from a song in itself is not what you have required You search much deeper within Though the way things appear You're looking into my heart I'm coming back to the heart of worship When it's all about you all about you, Jesus I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I've made it When it's all about you It's all about you, Jesus Oh, it's all about you It's all about you All is swept away And I simply come Longing just to bring Something that's of worth That'll bless your heart I'll bring you more than a song for a song in itself is not what you have required You search much deeper within Through the way things appear You're looking into my heart I'm coming back to the I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I've made it When it's all about you It's all about you, Jesus I'm coming back to the heart of worship When it's all about you It's all about you 
about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I've made it. But it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. Oh, it's all about you. It's all about you. For a song in itself, it's not what you have required. You search much deeper within, through the way things appear. You're looking into my heart. I'm coming back to the heart of worship. And it's all about you, it's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I've made it. When it's all about you, it's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you, it's all about you, Jesus. All about you. It's all about you, Jesus When it's all about you It's all about you, Jesus That's all I'm gonna say. My knees is good <laughs> and my head is good. Hey, now, come see, on, man. Your, come your on. generation was the crossover. Yeah, right, right, you don't know right, nothing right. about the step back. Ah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> he made it. He made it. <laughs> Well, man. hey, listen, let me tell you something. My knees, brother, <laughs> held up that, man. Oh, man. I thought for sure there was going to be. I had not played basketball in the last five years. I played with you my you called me out. Yeah, I'm man. Doc. I know you are. I know you are, man. Look, let you, you know. I'm glad you're here, man, because, I mean, we for finally sure, got a sure. building, man. Things are going good. But, man, I'm just, I'm just broken yeah. from the, just from life, man, from ministry, from all this stuff, man. You got a few minutes? I could just... Hey, listen, let me tell you something. I, I have an appointment, but hey, my time is your time. Man. That's what I'm here for, man. Especially during this time of season, what's going on. Man, well, listen, I wanted to talk to you just for a moment about Absaloms. Okay. You know, a Absaloms, they always get a bad rap because they want to take their father's kingdom. And when they die hanging in a tree, we rejoice, even though his father David couldn't reach him and... When your father's the type of father that would take a general's wife and keep her and put him on the front lines mm. to hide this secret. You know Bathsheba, you, you know this. Mm. See, you see his dad drinking outside, nestled up by the fire, and he sends off his mistake with a letter to kill himself, mm. Uriah. And this is no regular father we're talking about. We're talking about the Goliath slayer. He killed lions, he killed bears, and he's dancing in the city streets with right. the Ark of God. 200 Philistine foreskins, he became Saul's heir. So when Absalom's half-brother Amnon treats his sister like a prostitute, like Hagar, look, Amnon raped his full-blooded sister. Wow. 
her name was Tamar. Yeah. You gotta say that name, Tamar. Tamar. Say the name, Tamar. Tamar. She, she cried out to Amnon in her distress. Speak to the king, he'll, he'll let me marry you because she would la rather live with this monster than th live this life of shame, this subtle hue. And at the moment of her pain, Amnon says, get this out of my sight. Mm. This, he called her this, less than a woman. This is the word of a woman's plight. Mm. This woman's word, this woman's world, oh, it's hard on the man. Now her part is over. Now starts the task of the father. And I'm not talking about the absent black father. I'm talking about the absent church spiritual wow. father. Mm, man. Knowing this young woman's life was now over, violated before it began, so p many people I've known in ministry were buried before they could stand. They were less than trash, refuge, waste. This woman tore her garment, put dust all on her face, and she put her hands on her head and screamed loudly running down the hall. She lived the rest of her life in silence, desolate, and there was this stale taste to it all. One man's lust destroyed her life in a moment. Mm. All I've ever wanted my fathers to do was own it. No justice, no peace. Mm. I'm talking about Absalom now. Wow. And nobody there in Israel cared. They're spectators entranced with the disaster of others. Maybe she deserved it, maybe they were lovers. There's this perversion in our own culture. We're so unholy, it's difficult for us to hate sin. So it's just proclivity. It's a moment. Maybe it was just a whim. Define it, pastor, what was Amnon's sin since your morality is so high above? Mm. To sum it up, man, Amnon was a person of passion without love. You got it, you got it bad when you're on the phone. Hang up and you call right back. <laughs> you got it, you got it bad. If you miss a day without your friend, your whole life's off track. Passion without love always ends in hatred. And my dad did nothing. It's the truth that I hated. So my sister received no justice. She just had to live with this hurt. And in case, Apostle, you're wondering what I'm talking about, I'm yeah. talking about the church. Can you imagine the hypocrisy that yeah. I see when I hear specific pastors say yeah. that black lives matter? They matter as long as their black pocketbooks still matter. Yeah. The increases, man, the privilege, the tone that's dismissive. I was in movie theaters because the whole church gets evicted and it matters now. You know, demographics are changing. Wow. They have a base of black people. So let's gloss over the past, tell everyone we're all equal. Kumbaya, my Lord, kumbaya. Let's go ahead and sing and shout. Mm. But look, man, apostle, I'm not, I'm not going to stop until I air the whole thing out. Yes, sir. I got documents, doc, in yeah, my possessions yeah. that could wreak havoc on these places, but I'll keep it. Don't worry. I got way too much to lose now. I'm, yeah. It's just got to be my little secret. Mm when nepotism is a deeper conviction than faith, just like David and, and Eli, your love for your own son is higher than God's justice and seeking God's face, because Amnon was David's firstborn son. Yeah. So we, he, David was blinded to see his flaws. So we are damaged goods without justice, and now I become a power-hungry vigilante. Wait, p pause. In ministry, I was good as long as my emotion and passion fit their ego yes. on the tape. But when I started to believe in myself, all I felt like was a mistake. My gifting just supported their ego and their name. And in the guise of kingdom ministry, I adjusted to the shame and I stood on stages acting with hearts in opposition. It was a muse. There was no upward mobility. It was a glass ceiling a ruse. And when injustice came my way, my world felt so disjointed and all I would hear my father say is dare not touch God's anointed. Are we kings, doc? What about Paul when he confronted Peter? And what about accountability in the life of all believers? It worked because, you know what, man? I knew that the show had to go on. Yeah. And I would run down the hall of my church like Tamar with the hate of Absalom. And it's hard when they keep saying your father is a man after God's own heart. But behind these closed doors, it led me to believe 
that God's own heart was dark. Because Absalom is hatred without restraint. Absaloms are always something other. In the pictures that we all like to paint, oh, here's why they left our ministry. They were sinful, too young. He was filled with yeah, lies, yeah. you know. Yeah. Too much sin, not a good fit, too much pride. So I'm left on my own doc with four kids. Four kids, no money, unemployed, accepting donations. I guess Puerto Ricans don't count when we say we love all nations. <laughs> Look, man, I'm just saying this for my brothers in ministry who do not have a voice. I'm saying this for people in our ministries who don't have a choice. I'm saying this because they take people's joy in God and taught us power, prejudice, and pain. So when they finally stand on their own two feet, I'm still bound by their chains. And like Absalom, I'm plotting their demise. It's a slow death, but it's fitting because in my heart, I still rise. Absalom, the sins of my father have come upon us mm. and hurt people, hurt people. So you already know, man, trust. Mm. There's never been justice for me. There has never been peace. Not until this whole church manipulating dynamic structure goes under six feet deep. I am Absalom and I don't have sons either. Man, I feel like I'm the same. Wow. So I'm building my own monument, something that bears my own name. I'm not your son, you're not my father. We're just two grown men saying goodbye. No need to forgive, no need to forget. I know your mistakes and you know mine. Absalom, Absalom, man, Absalom. Hey son, it's okay. You hurt him, but all is not lost. I see your pain, I see your hurting. I also see you carrying the cross. Listen doc, no disrespect, but you are not my father. And there's no way that you could ever comprehend my hurt. How can you say that I've been there? I stood with you at Prairie State when they tried to destroy Freedom Church. But listen, I want you to hear my heart that you're not yet free. Every person that came before you walked a line that you can't see. Like Absalom, that path only is going to take you and it's going to take your very life. So let me tell you about my history that started in 1955. Born to Lila and Fred on the block where Larry Hoover was, most of us that I knew wound up dead. I saw riots, walkouts, activation of gangs, high supreme gangsters my brother was the leader of, in the place he banged. The gangsters and the disciples formed the truce and I saw that when I was only nine. Me and Prophet Dave, <laughs> we were thick as thieves. But hold on, give me a moment because Prophet Dave died. That was my path, my world, my whole life was a test, Dad. But through sports, I found hope. It changed me when I went to CVS. And that was the first time I ever ran into whites. I got, it got me out of that environment that I grew up in. It gave me hope in my life. I met my wife, my soulmate, <laughs> my me, Barb. Then we planted a church back in 1983. Three people showed up. We had no money for months and even years. And we were trying to elevate our people to build something more than just a storefront church. The second floor of a camera shop, we rented there from my brother-in-law. Then in Harvey at 1.30, ministry was all I saw. I wasn't paid from the church. I worked at Ingalls the whole entire time. I had nothing but God, but purpose trumps over money. So my heart, I was fine. The 70 chairs in the middle of Chicago Heights, my kingdoms, wait, stop. There was no camera and no lights. It was sometimes a lonely road. It was me and other young preachers, Abercrombie, Ace Daniel Wilson, and Eckhart. We became the gatekeepers. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine a young black man in the neighborhoods where I didn't belong. You want to talk about racism, injustice, court cases, man, 
I kept singing my song. There was rejection in every corner, politics, racial divide. But as long I was in Christ, I could swallow my pride there. But in 1989, I met Bernie Holland. <laughs> yep. Bernie Holland? Bernie Holland. Oh, man. I remember that Thanksgiving. Yeah. Man, when I lost him, a part of me died. I remember him having a surgery on his neck and he sat up in his bed and preached Christ and him crucified. That's Bernie, man. Hmm. Bernie was the guy. He was my guy. Just like with you. He showed me a land in Hazelcrest. Hmm. We bought the land and we built what you know right now, Full Gospel Christian Assemblies International in 1986. I've truly been blessed. You think this was easy? Son, please stop. You will never know how many dark nights of my soul where I learned to just stand and just drop. To my knees and pray, if you are saying my generation is David, yours is Absalom, do you know how many people turned on me claiming they were my son? When it happened, I took it personal. Then I, I, I would overcompensate. I want everybody to like me. And I would try not to let their pain turn my heart into hate. People I poured into and gave them everything I had to give only to hear them bash my name saying I, that, that I didn't let them live because rejected people are the hardest people to lead wow. that. Because the moment they feel Unaccepted, they leave. And insecurity masks a strength, turns children into men. But you're not ready to leave when the platform is your only friend. So this stage becomes your acceptance to create your self-esteem, your own father set, your identity, and now you are projecting that onto me. So this lack of validation you perceive masks you want to take my life. But as you know, everything can be taken, so your identity must be in Christ. We can't be shaken. He's the rock, he's the foundation, he's the cornerstone of the church. He is the way maker, he is the healer, he's the bomb for all your hearts. Keep saying Absalom, but you are David now. You are David now. Your real spiritual sons, and, and your, you, you birth who you are, whether that's hate or that's love. And you can forgive those who have caused you pain. Let it go, that You've already won, but you can't see it because the church hurt will blind your soul. Look around, young blood. Your future is bright. It's bright, Thad. Pray for your, your abusers. Bless those who want to fight. Don't forget God's justice has never slept. We can ponder over our ways, but God has ordered our steps. Look at me, man. I'm sorry for those who have caused you pain. I'm sorry. No father is perfect. The cycles gotta change that. We have to start the process ending hostility. My father, Bishop Wellington Boone, taught me that the power is in humility. The low road is the new heights. Uh, eradication of that ego. This is Philippians 2, where the kenosis of Christ, think of what he had to go through. Stay humble, Thad. Keep fighting a good fight of faith. There are still fathers who have your back, and that's why I'm here. I got your back, man. It's a question of salvation. Jesus say, how can you believe when you receive honor that comes from men and not validation of king? That, let it go. That, let it go. Let go of all the hurts and the pains that you encountered and taken on this position. I wanna pray for you, man. 
I wish I had somebody in my life like you have in your life right now. It could be done. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, I pray right now for the man Thaddeus Circe, who you have ordained in this hour to lead the people who are hurting, people that are in pain. God, we pray right now that his pain shall be eradicated and taken away. Father, we pray that healing, Father, will come upon him like the bomb in Gilead, that he will be set free, that he will not take his pain, Father, and hurt others, that he will use this opportunity to be delivered and set free. Oh God, the world needs him. Generation X, millennials, Generation Z need him. They need his voice, but most of all, they need his personality. They need his anointing. And Father, he's the bridge that's gonna bridge the gap for every divide that's in our nation. Touch him, Lord. Anoint him, Lord. Free him today, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that he shall be the spokesperson in this hour and that he shall be free. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Amen. You're free, man. You're free. You're free, man. Oh, I love you, man. I love you, too. I love you, man. I don't know about you guys, but I'm done. I am done hooping for the day. Okay. So, what about you? Mm, no, I'm going to keep hooping. You know, you know we need to, man, we need to go play some golf after this. Okay. This is trash. <laughs> this is trash. Well, listen, the same way we were out there hooping, man, you guys got to stay competitive. No, no one's going to hand you anything in life. You got to fight for it. Keep God first and keep fighting for it. Whatever you, wherever you go in life. You know, but I got your back. You know that. Always. Everything I do is for you guys, man. Anywho, let's get up out of here. You know what time it is. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let's go.